As a follow-up to her best-selling book, Wonder, R.J. Palacio wrote White Bird, a wonder story, to show how love, courage, and kindness had the power to save lives during the Holocaust. The graphic novel was adapted into a film by acclaimed director, Mark Forster. At StoryCorps, R.J. and Mark sat down to talk about how White Bird's theme of kindness has impacted their lives and their hopes that the film inspires audiences to be brave and choose kind. When I read White Bird, to be honest, I, I felt like this is a story very different than other Holocaust stories and something I haven't seen before. Yeah, you know, the idea behind White Bird really is to show how genocide starts with the ostracizing of groups of people. It starts with hate speech and the normalizing of hate speech. But I also wanted to talk about how kindness or one act of kindness can really alter the course of someone's life and actually has. One of the most wonderful things about real history is there are an abundance of stories about people sticking their neck out for people they didn't know. You know, I, I'd like to think that I'd be that person, but I think kindness is really hard. And we underestimate how hard it is. You actually have to choose to be kind. Yes, the courage it takes to be kind. I'm always inspired about people who have the courageousness to stand up for humanity. I mean, in my life, you know, I had a few mentors who were very kind to me. And one in specific was a man called Robert Louis Dreyfus. You know, I, I grew up in, in Switzerland in, in the mountains. And then when I finished high school, I applied to all sorts of film schools around the world. I got into NYU. And my parents didn't have the financial backing to pay to go to school in the States. And Robert said, look, I will finance your studies. And then when I had the money to pay him back, he said, no, just make great movies. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wouldn't be for him. That's an amazing story. And really, what a wonderful human being. There are a few people who I've met who are genuinely, instinctively kind. But I can remember we had just moved to a new building in Flushing, New York. We had just gone shopping. My mother had two large bags full of groceries and it was a third or fourth floor walk up and she dropped both grocery bags. I remember the sound of the milk in a glass bottle on the marble landing of the staircase and she was on the verge of tears. The neighbor, a woman named Alice, she saw what had just happened and she came out with a broom and a mop to help my mother sweep up. And it was an act of kindness that I remember had such an impact on me as a five-year-old watching my mother having a terrible day. I think kindness lifts people up and it kind of raises the bar on our expectations of one another. You can't really mandate kindness, but you can inspire it. And my hope is that if you inspire it in enough people, it becomes the norm. Yeah, if we can manage that, that's already a lot because I believe in humanity. I'm an optimist. I always think I have to see the light at the end of the tunnel. When I first started to make movies, I realized how much movies actually can affect society and how much they can help people or inspire them. Yeah, you know, I think your movies, certainly White Bird, is all about ordinary people living in extraordinary times, doing the best they can with what they have finding that little hero inside of them to do what's right. So the more we can talk about and celebrate people like that, you know, we can appeal to our better angels and inspire other people to want to be better. So I, I think we're doing really good work, Mark. I have to say, yeah. I think we're doing something here. Produced by StoryCorps Studios in partnership with Lionsgate and Kingdom Story Company and the USC Shoah Foundation. Interviews recorded by StoryCorps, a national nonprofit whose mission is to illuminate the humanity and possibility in us all, one story at a time. 